This is Mission Control Houston. We're going to go down to NASA's Marshall Space Flight Center now in Huntsville, Alabama, where Lori Meggs is standing by at the Payload Operations and Integration Center. Lori, we hear that the team there is uh, getting ready to mark a big milestone. That's right, Josh. 12 years of continuous 24 by 7 operations here at the Payload Operations Integration Center. If you're not familiar with the team, let me tell you what they do. This team of flight controllers plans, coordinates all science activities on the space station. And leading that team is someone called the Payload Operations Director. Joining me now is Katie Preston, and she is the Payload Operations Director here at Marshall. Katie, first of all, tell us what you guys do here. Well, as the Payload Operations Director, we're responsible for managing all the science uh, on the International Space Station. <clears throat> we, are, uh, we coordinate with the Flight Director for any NASA science activities that we have. And so pretty much all science activities, NASA science activities, go through us. And that's no easy job. About how many hours a week are we talking about right now? Well, right now we have been averaging uh, around 35 hours a week, but sometimes it gets up to 40 or 50 hours a week. So we have a lot of science going on right now. And those are only crew-tended operations. We also have a lot of science going on that the crew's not necessarily operating for us. So we can control a lot of our experiments from the ground, which means 24 by 7 operations. You say they're like your hands and your feet right there, too, right there, the crew is. You build a relationship with them. Right. Um, because we work with the crew for around six months and because we've trained them and gotten them, gotten them um, ready to operate our experiments, we develop relationships with them. So we have a lot of fun with them oftentimes. And because we can't always see what they're doing, they are our hands and feet, and they... Um, they, we try to help them as much as we can, but we rely on their expertise because we can't be up there with them. And I know you guys are gearing up for a big anniversary, as we mentioned, the 12th anniversary of operations here, but you're not celebrating with the typical cake and party. You guys are actually going out into the community and talking to schools about what you do and inspiring those students. Tell us about that. Yes. Well, uh, we were trying to think of a way to commemorate our anniversary, and we thought what better way than to try to get students excited about what we do here. Uh, one day they'll be doing our jobs, and so we want to give them an opportunity to learn about what we do and get them excited about uh, all the STEM activities that we have. And so for uh, one of our activities, we'll be having a live event here. Uh, the room we're standing in will have about seven of our cadre members, and they'll be in here and they'll be talking about their careers. We'll talk about some of the different science experiments that we have. And we'll try to relate some of the benefits of those science experiments in a way that the students can understand. And also, always the fun question and answer session, so that should be a lot of fun. And that's going out to a lot of schools, right, this digital learning network program you're talking about? Right. Uh, we'll have a few that we interact with live, but it'll be uh, broadcast on the web, so schools around the country can view it. And we hope to also have follow-on events, so maybe this won't be the only one we do. And in addition to that, we'll also be going out into the schools. We know not every school has equipment to be able to support that kind of activity, so we also want to get out into the schools, uh, have more one-on-one -on -one experience with the students, and show them some different experiments and relate that to what we do on the space station and talk about how we got to be where we are. What's the number one thing that you can tell students to inspire them about the work that you do here? Um, I, I, I think the most important thing is to get them excited about science, technology, engineering, and math. There are a lot of things we do on space station um, that they may not know about. They may not understand the benefits uh, of those experiments, and we want to get them excited because they're going to be doing our jobs one day. That's right, and a good job that you do, Katie. Thank you so much for sharing with us. And as she mentioned, there are lots of ways the students and educators can get involved in space station experiments. For example, the SPHERES Zero Robotics Competition. Now, SPHERES stands for the Synchronize, Position, Hold, Engage, Reorient, Experimental Satellites Experiment. The SPHERES Zero Robotics Investigation opens up the space station for high school students to use, providing them with the opportunity to act as ground controllers for research in space using SPHERES, which are bowling balls size spherical satellites. They're used inside the space station to test autonomous rendezvous and docking maneuvers. As part of the Zero Robotics competition, students write algorithms and design software for the satellites to accomplish complex tasks in space, such as docking, assembly, and formation flight. 
The algorithms are tested by the SPHERES team at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, and the best designs are selected for the competition to operate the SPHERES satellites on board the station. Sphere Zero Robotics provides a unique and valuable opportunity to maintain student interest in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics careers. And many other educational opportunities have already taken place to date. 49 countries, 25,000 schools, 2.8 million teachers, and more than 43 million students have participated in experiments on board the space station. Now, if you or your school would like to participate in any of these activities, you can go to nasa.gov station. And on the right side there, you'll see a space for Space Station for Kids and Space Station for Educators, and you can learn more about how you can get involved. And that will do it for us from the Payload Operations Integration Center here in Huntsville. Back to you at Mission Control in Houston.